Welcome friends to a lecture on chemical engineering thermodynamics. Today we will learn how to use Raoult's law to plot a TXY plot. This is Professor Arvind Prasad. So how to draw a TXY diagram? Let's take a problem. Assuming Raoult's law to be valid, draw a TXY diagram for chlorobutane chlorobenzene system at 90 kilopascals. Here we have the equations for the vapor pressure. The first one is for chlorobutane and the second one for chlorobenzene. Now let's type the equations. So the vapor pressure is a function of temperature. So the first vapor pressure that we have is chlorobutane and this is a function of temperature. This is E raised to 13 point Two thousand seven hundred twenty three point seven three divided by T plus two hundred and eighteen point two sixty five. So we have the equation. Now let's copy and paste this equation and remodify it. For chlorobenzene. Seven eight, and finally we write the C value for C, that is two hundred and eleven point seven. So we have both the equations. Now the question is, how do we find out that what are going to be the temperatures of pure chlorobutane and pure chlorobenzene at 90 kilopascals. So for that we have to write We can give a name to this equation, so we can tell it is equation 1 and therefore we have this. Now we say solve, float, solve, for temperature. So there we get the temperature, it is 74.7134 degrees Celsius. Similarly, we can write equation number 2 and this will be at 90 kilopascals. 
so we solve equation 2 for temperature and we get an answer. So benzene will have a temperature of 127.35 and chlorobutane will have a temperature of 74.71. Having these results, now we need to do a plot of T versus X and T versus Y or T X Y plot. Now, Raoult's law has to be used and the pressure is 90 kilopascals. If we to draw a graph with temperature as the x-axis and concentration as the y-axis, then we need to fix the temperature of x-axis only between 74 to 127 and make a plot. Now we have to write an expression for the concentration X that is the mole fraction of chlorobutane in liquid phase as a function of temperature. By Raoult's law this is going to be equal to 90 minus the vapor pressure of chlorobutane sorry chlorobenzene. divided by the vapor pressure of chlorobutane minus the vapor pressure of chlorobenzene. There we are. Now let us test this expression for 90 degrees Celsius. Yes, it gives for 90 degrees Celsius a concentration of X as 0 0.5395. Now, the concentration of chlorobutane in the vapor phase, which is going to be a function of temperature, is going to be equal to the concentration of chlorobutane as a function of temperature in the liquid phase multiplied by the vapor pressure of chlorobutane divided by 90 which is the system pressure. There we are. So let's test the expression. And it is giving the right value at 90 degrees Celsius the value of y is obviously value greater than the value of x. Now let us draw the x, y, t plot. So for this we put the command so the color of the x plot let us put it as red and the command for plotting the x plot the range of the x plot so this is going to be at the lower end it is going to be 74.7134 74.7134 and at the upper end it is 127.3522 127.3522 now similarly let's copy and paste and write the expression for y so copy this 
and paste it here. And we replace xt with yt. And we give a command to plot the grids too. So now let's do the plot. As you see, we have got the plot. The both the plots are red. So let me change this and make it blue. And clearly, we should be getting the plot now. The yt plot is blue and the xt plot is red. So let us put the legends to. So x label is nothing but temperature and y label is nothing but x comma y. And we finally have our plot, which is clear. Now this is the xy plot and on the y axis we have the temperature. If we double click on this and plop, pot, pop it out, okay, it doesn't pop out now. Sometimes it does have a problem popping out, but we can always copy and save it on any file that we wish to. So this was the method of drawing a txy plot using Raoult's law. Now, as, So this was all about how to draw a txy plot. This is the end of my lecture. If you have any comments, please write them. Do subscribe and write my, like my channel. Goodbye.